Hey guys, Drea here. Welcome to another Fancy Made DIY tutorial. And today finally kicks off our Coachella content for this year's music festival season. Super excited. If you guys don't know by now, I am absolutely obsessed with music festivals. My life is one never ending music festivals. All my money goes to music festivals. All my money goes to making stuff for music festivals. And I'm glad I'm able to share with you on how you can create your very own things to music festivals. Now really quick, I just wanted to share with you guys, the whole reason I do this is because I know that a lot of really cool dope stuff for music festivals can be very, very expensive. And if you're already slaving away to pay for the music festivals, you don't necessarily have a ton of money to spend on all these cool outfits and cool things, but I am here to show you just how to make these cool things for a fraction of the price. One of the items that I've seen at Coachella over the years, time and time again, has been the kimonos. They're absolutely cute, they're great to accessorize with the rest of your outfit. It gives you a little bit of coverage when you're cold, and it gives you that length if you're wearing super short shorts. They're just gorgeous pieces to own and have. I've seen them online, they can run a bit very expensive to be completely honest with you and I was kind of going through some old t-shirts of mine and I had a lot of random oversized old t-shirts that I had laying around for other projects that I wanted to use in the future and then I thought why not use a recycled t-shirt and create a kimono after that so that is exactly what I'm gonna be doing in this tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to create a kimono using a recycled old t-shirt but if you have another big blouse laying around, you can also substitute that and use that as well. Just go ahead and follow the uh, template for that. So I'm just gonna show you how very, very easy and inexpensive it is to turn one of your old t-shirts into a fashionable kimono to wear to this year's Coachella. So yes, let's go ahead and get started with the tutorial. You need the following materials for this tutorial. First off, you need an oversized t-shirt of your choice. You're also gonna be needing some pretty trim about four yards of trim. You also need some pom-pom trim as well. You can buy it in these little spools. You're gonna need two of those, which equals about three yards of that trim. And also you need your trusted no-sew fabric glue, which you can purchase at any craft store, a pair of scissors, some pins, and some needle and thread, and this part is optional. So the first thing you wanna do is go ahead and prep your um, oversized t-shirt. What I recommend doing is ironing it out. Um, but the first thing you're gonna be doing is folding it in half and make sure you fold it in half the sleeves also. You wanna get that perfect line in the middle. And you're gonna be making an incision across the middle. You're only gonna be doing it on the front part of your t-shirt. So as you can see like so, make sure you don't cut both sides because then you're gonna ruin it. So just the first part, go ahead and cut it all the way up until you reach the very, very top. Now you have a clear opening for the very front of your t-shirt and it should look something like this. Now taking your scissors very carefully, go along the dotted line that you see here and you are going to be cutting off the collar. The collar's a little too thick and it won't create that flowy feel to the kimono so make sure you cut that off and cut it straight through the line. And as you can see here, I have the front side of my shirt and I'm gonna start working on one of the front side pieces. I'm gonna need my um, pom-pom trim and also my glue. And then along the edge of one of the openings, I'm going to be putting a good amount of glue. Then the first thing I'm going to be putting across is my pom-pom trim. You want to do this from the bottom all the way to the top. And this is what it should look like once it's all done. And then I'm going to be repeating the exact same thing on the opposite end as well. Or the opposite side as well. So after I do both front openings, I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to move on to working on my sleeves. Essentially, you're going to be doing the same thing as attaching um, the pom-pom trim all along the edge of your sleeves. I recommend opening up the shirt, finding the middle crease, and working from the middle, then working all the way around as you see here. And you're going to be covering the whole entire sleeve. Then clip off any excess pom-pom trim you have and just dab your fingers all across to make sure that it's on there nice and secure. Now moving on to our floral trim, 
I'm going to be placing that either, it's up to you if you want to place it right over your pom-pom trim or if you want to place it directly underneath. Depending on how you want it to look, it's totally up to you. So you're going to essentially be doing the same thing again. Taking a good amount of your fabric glue, you're going to start from the top, work all the way down and cut off any excess um, trim that you have. And just take your fingers through, make sure that it's on there nice and secure. And you're going to be repeating this on the opposite side as well. Once you do that, again, let it dry. And you're then repeat the same thing on both of your sleeves. You're going to be taking your trim, applying it over, all the way around, cut off any excess, and run your fingers through it again to make sure that it's on there nice and secure and allow it to dry. And this is what your kimono should look like as of right now. This next part, I didn't add it to the materials. This is completely optional. The only reason I didn't add it before because it could get a little pricey. You're gonna be needing the main essentials. And I also recommend, if you can, buy this gorgeous fringe trim that you can buy at any uh, fabric store. It runs a little expensive, so make sure you get enough that covers the width all the way around the bottom of your shirt. You're gonna be repeating the same thing, essentially taking a lot of the fabric glue gluing it down to the bottom trim all the way around and then make sure that you remove the little plastic that comes at the bottom so it loosens up the little fringes and to finish it off I recommend sewing it just to make sure it stays on there nice and secure especially if you're going to be washing this so again this step is completely optional you can also opt to use some regular pom-pom trim for that bottom as well and this is what your final product should look like And that's it for the tutorial. If you guys saw, it was super easy to do, super quick. And one thing that I did throw in there that's super extra is I went ahead and I designed something for the back. This is completely up to you. But for me, mine was a little too plain, so I decided to just paint something. So the way that I did it is I just took some white puffy paint and I just went ahead and I added some of that on there. A little bit more embellished. You can do whatever you want with your kimono. I just showed you the basics. You can add as much trimming as you want. You can add uh, longer uh, fringe as well. All these colors, all this flare puff, whatever you want, and you can definitely make it your own. So you can see I'm wearing it here. It's super, super cute. I'm not going to Coachella this year, but I will be taking it to Lightning in a bottle, and I'm very, very, very excited for that. But yeah, that does it for the tutorial. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like the DIY project, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm here to show you a lot of fun, cool DIY projects. And as always, all my social media links are down below for you guys to check out. If you have any comments, questions, concerns about how to make this, you need a little bit more help, just leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, thank you guys so much for taking the time to check out this tutorial. I will be back in a few days with another tutorial to get you guys prepped and ready for Coachella. This time around, it's a lot of fun accessories that you can incorporate with a lot of your outfits. So you guys can um, stay tuned for that up next. And thank you guys so much for watching this video. Sending all of you lots of love and light wherever you may be. And I will be seeing you guys soon. And I forgot one more thing. If you guys head over to fancymade.com, I created a list of all my past Coachella DIY tutorials that I have on there. So it's a nice list directly on the blog for all of you to check out some content before the new content comes up or give you some other ideas that you might want to create for yourself this year's Coachella. Or you can also head over directly to my website. Just click on the DIY tab at the top of the website and that will give you a list of absolutely everything I have created in order and there's a ton of uh, EDC stuff on there as well if you guys want to start looking at that and get excited for that as well. So yes, that's it and I will see you guys in a few days.